All right, now a, a few videos ago, I'm sure you learned about uh, note values and and rests. If not, you should probably check those out. But there also exists another sign of value, and this is what we're going to be talking about today, and that is dotted. My gosh dotted notes and rests right so basically let's say you have a whole note okay and what does a whole note look like well it kind of looks like this right looks something like that so that's a whole note now basically by putting a dot after it, here's a dot, it adds to the time value. So not only does, so, so I guess uh, what I'm trying to say, so you have a whole note, okay, that represents pretty much the entire measure, right? Put a whole note in there, you got the entire measure. Well, if you put a dot, that takes this measure, cuts it in half, and adds that half section making it one and a half measures long okay so a dot is basically half of the first uh, time value added onto it so this is the same as saying a whole note plus a half note Um, if we had, let's say, we had a, a half note, dot, that would be the same as a half note plus, what's half of a half? A quarter note, right? Now if we had a dotted quarter note, that would be the same as saying a quarter note plus half of a quarter note, which is an eighth note. Right? So this is one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. Right, and these are these are note values, but you can actually do the same thing with rests. So <clears throat> oh, hang on a second. Right. Uh yeah, with with rests, right? So let's say you had a a quarter note rest, right? Looks something like that. You dotted it. Well, that would be the same as a quarter note rest plus an eighth note rest, right? So this is one and a half rests. Again, they're all one and a half. But you can actually add another dot, which would be half of the value of the dot itself, the first dot. So just like this first dot is half the value of the preceding value, the second dot would be half the value of the preceding value again, which just happens to be a dot. So let's let's, let's go over that uh, right now. Um, again, let's say you had a whole note, a dot, and another dot. Right? So that would be a whole note plus a half note, just like up here. Now the second dot is going to the second dot is going to take half of the first dot, which is a half note, and add that on. So that will be a quarter note, right? So this is what one and three quarters now of the original value. <clears throat> so if we had a a half note with two dots, that would be a half note plus a quarter note, just like above. Plus the second dot's gonna take half of the first dot and add it onto it. So it's gonna be plus an eighth note. 
and so on. You get the picture, right? And it's the same thing for rests, right? So if I had a quarter, quarter rest with two dots, that would be the same as saying a quarter rest with an eighth note rest with the second dot is going to take half of the first dot value which is an eighth note rest and add it on so that would be a sixteenth note rest right? exactly okay uh, so you, you get the point that is um that's all there is to dot values just know that it extends the measure by however many um, dots there are so one dot equates to an addition of of uh, half of the oops uh, sorry that's just the <laughs> the previous video uploading uh, to YouTube um, so yeah uh, one dot equates to half of the uh, preceding value preceding value and you just tack that on to the end okay that's it for now thanks for watching